worse every night. Just a sec. What the fuck? Sorry. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? This city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. More survivors. We've got to get that train moving. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. Can you UBCS? Uh, yeah, careful, careful. Come on, don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an okay, expert. No, 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 wait, please! No. What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars, this soft. No wonder so many of you are dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. Go back to the subway station. We don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way.
Nice job, Super Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai! How are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's helping me get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight, friend. She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. <laughs> She'll get you killed. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worked up. Oh, come on. Not again. It's me he's after. What? Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. Wait, Jill. No! You don't really think a pencil pusher like Barrett is still alive, do you? I have a done good authority. <clears throat> Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? <laughs> I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. That would just be too cruel. What about him? Why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. Who are you working for? I'll tell you, if you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. Yeah. <sighs> 
finally over. So long, Arcee. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. It was greed. Human greed.